Hi, it's Holly with Holly Bray Design, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly turn any font you like into a split letter monogram. So I'm going to start today with a really simple font. It's very bulky, and I like it because I can kind of make it my own. And that font is Kemi Retro. I found this on Font Bundles. Make this the thing. You see, it's a real bulky font, so it works really well for things like this. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is add a square. I'm going to unlock that square and turn it into a thin line. I think it's probably a little bit too big. Let's see here. There we go. All right. I'm going to lock that now that I like it. And I am just going to copy that and paste it in. I think that width's about good. I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to center them horizontally. I'm going to move my M out of the way for a minute. So I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to weld them together. You can use attach. I just happen to like weld because I like things to be permanently hooked together. Keep in mind, once you weld, if you weld something, once you save your project, you cannot undo it. That is the advantage of attach. All right, so I'm going to add an additional square. I'm going to change the color of that square just to make it easier to see what I'm doing. And I am going to send that backwards. I'm not going to send it all the way to the back because I want it on top of my M when I'm done here. But I am going to set it backwards so it's behind my two lines here. And basically, I just unlocked it and made it the same size and shape of those. Locking that again. Now I'm going to bring my M back into the picture. I'm going to grab my square I made. I'm going to grab my M and I'm going to center them. So now that's perfectly centered on my M to make my split, le split letter monogram. So this is the space that's going to be split out in the center. While I've still got them both attached, I'm going to slice that. And then I'm just going to delete my slice results so that the only thing I have left is my M. Then I'm going to grab my two lines. I'm going to grab my M. And I'm going to center them. And then while it's all attached, I will or while they're still highlighted, I will weld them. So I now have a split letter M. The reason I chose this is because you can add any shape you want into here. Um, I have a couple of shapes that I recently created and added in, so I'm going to grab that. I'm going to pull that in down here. I'm going to slice and get rid of my slice results. And now I have kind of a customized little M. Pretty short, sweet, simple. Uh, you can do this with any font. Uh, and just that way you can make it your own. I just like the chunkier fonts because then I can add little uh, elements of my own that I've created. Hope that was easy for you and have a great day.